Your Thursday morning. Welcome back. It is time for In the Know. And of course, readers out there always have stories that take place in New York, LA, Chicago, big cities, right? But how about here in Peoria? Not quite as common. And now an author with downstate ties is bringing central Illinois to the broader reading world. Author Marcy Belaski is giving us time today not just to share more about her writing in Deception and Consequences, but why area DNA is so core to its story. Marcy, good morning. Thanks for coming in. Good morning. Thank you. All right. I want to start things off just by asking, you are a first-time author. Tell us a little bit about your background and kind of what got you to this point. Well, I'm a retired teacher. Okay. So I think teachers kind of gravitate toward writing, especially English teachers like me. Uh, I've been writing a long time, but this is my first really large endeavor. So was it being a teacher as uh, especially delving into English on such a regular basis? Is that really what kind of led you to this? I think so. I, I, I think I liked to write and I liked everything about writing before I became a teacher because that goes back to junior high and a long time ago. But um, the teaching uh, and teaching writing has been a real passion. How about this type of story specifically? What drew you to it? <laughs> uh, this was probably um, just a, a thought. Mm. It, was, it was a thought and I ran it past a couple of friends who said, I think you need to go for it. And uh, this is what I ended up with. And here you are holding a hard cover. You can see the uh, cover there as well with that hard copy. Obviously, I want to touch on some of the plot details inside without divulging too much into okay. spoiler teller territory. What are you able to tell us about it? Uh, it is the first in a series of four. Okay. Uh, and the second book is slated to come out in a few weeks. Uh, but this book, uh, it sets all the groundwork for the characters, uh, for the action, for the plot. It's a, it's a family feud. It's a, nasty, um, it's a nasty family feud that starts unraveling a bunch of secrets. Hmm. What kind of secrets are we talking here? Very um, personal secrets, uh, money secrets? Infidelity, theft. Oh. All kinds of crime issues. A lot of spice. There is some is spice. What I'm hearing. It is oh, a romance goodness. suspense. I like it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Was this something that I mean, this type of novel, was it something that you were drawn to before? <laughs> uh this is this is a real surprise for me. Okay. I am a I'm a mystery uh thriller suspense reader. Uh and I just recently got into kind of the romance okay. genre. Uh and uh Put them together. Now, this also, I do want to emphasize the fact that uh, you kind of woven into the story some central Illinois yeah. uh, emphasis, yeah. shall I say. Do you want to touch on that a little bit? Sure. Um, when I was in college, I went to Western Illinois, and all my friends, my best friends, lived in Peoria. And I would come back with them on some weekends, and I really just fell in love with the city. I, I mean, I'm from around Decatur, and uh, Peoria was just a little bit larger, a little bit more magical for me at that time. And so, of course, Peoria uh, had to be in my book. I love that. And there are some local uh, businesses, Coochie's on the Water, um, Sugar Wood Fire Bistro, and Kelleher's uh, that are featured in the book. And we did my launch there a couple of weeks ago, and they opened their doors and their, their hearts to me, uh, and they were all wonderful. Oh, my gosh. I can only imagine how cool that must be. <laughs> it was very cool. Yeah, especially having those integrated there. Where can people find you, and where can people find the book? The book is uh, it's on Amazon. It's on Barnes & Noble. Um, online. Uh, I have a website, marcyb.net. Uh, I sell it on there as well. Perfect. We got the URL up on your screen. And before we wrap up here, Marcy, I do want to make sure that we note that there were some pretty nice, uh, shall we say, distinguishing titles that this book got recently as well. Absolutely. Um, I have a host of uh, Five Star Reader Choice Awards, uh, the Titan Literary Award, uh, so, yeah, and it, uh, it went number one on Ingram in its genre in 15 days after publication. For a first-time author, <laughs> that's not too shabby. Yes, I'm, oh I'm, I can't complain. There we go. Marcy, <laughs> thank you so much for coming in. And by the way, we'll have this interview online if you want to check it out yourself. Definitely something you'll want to pick up. And, of course, when you hear from the author herself, all the more motivation, <laughs> right? I love it. And, of course, if you or someone you know would like to join us on In The Know, go to 25newsnow.com. Just click on the In The Know tab, submit the form, and we're going to talk about that poll question coming up in just a few moments. Stick around for that.